my name is Phyllis Curat, and I'm a Wiccan priestess. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you a little bit about British traditional Wicca, which basically began with Gerald Gardner, who was a British uh, civil servant and who discovered uh, the old religion of the British Isles, uh, which is Wicca, uh, what he referred to when he went public in the early 1950s, he called it Wicca. And that's sort of where the name comes from. Actually, Wicca refers to a, a practitioner, a person who's practicing Wicca. Uh, he was initiated in, by the new Forest Coven and uh, mixed in with what he learned from them, some ceremonial magic from the Golden Dawn, which was uh, Lady Gregory and Yeats, um, a little Alistair Crowley, um, and some masonry, some of the mysteries of the East, the tantric mysteries um, of India, because he served in India for a while, a little Buddhism um, from the, the Theosophical Society, which was increasingly popular in Britain. Uh, and uh, you also have Alexandrian Wicca, which came along a little bit later. That's essentially um, the origin of uh, what's called British traditional British Wicca. Uh, it's an initiatory tradition. It's also frequently referred to um, either as uh, the Gardnerian tradition or the Alexandrian tradition. Uh, it's quite formal. There uh, is usually a priest and a priestess. Uh, you practice for uh, a minimum of three years. You're usually initiated after uh, a year and a day and it takes at least three years to become uh, a high priest or a high priestess. And in a certain sense, it's kind of like our historical North Star because um, uh, people who practice a Gardnerian or Alexandrian um, Wicca uh, tend not to be too innovative. They practice it as it was taught to them, as it was handed down um, by Alexanders in the Alexandrian tradition or by Gardner in the Gardnerian tradition, or with uh, um, Sayak's Wicca, which um, is the Anglo-Saxon version, from um, uh, Ray Buckland, who was initiated through Gardner's lineage. Um, the Gardnerian tradition is part of my lineage, uh, but I also came in through the Minoan Sisterhood, which was the first women's group to break off from the Gardnerian tradition, which is traditionally both men and women. That's one of the characteristics of the Gardnerian tradition. What's like it being um, the North Star, the constant point, which is very useful in um, uh, a, a profound spiritual movement that is rooted in growth and transformation, um, it's important to remember that Gardner was very eclectic in uh, his creation of Wicca. He added to what he had been uh, taught by the New Forest Coven in which he was initiated. He added a lot of uh, additional wisdom from other traditions, which has been uh, the, absolutely the trend uh, as, uh, as Wicca and the broader subject of paganism has gone increasingly public and, and absolutely exploded in size and popularity. So uh, it's useful to have that constant point. And that's, I think that's one of its gifts to us. Mm -hmm.